It's time for the faith walk of the day. I was uh, listening to a preacher on YouTube and it blessed my soul. And I want to share with you um, something that I was uh, listening to this morning. He was asking, what are you thinking or what is in or on your mind's playlist? What do you replay in your mind over and over? Do those, line, do those thoughts line up with what God says about you? Uh, are you having a God thought? Or you having a, 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 a devil-inspired thought? I know you don't want to think of it like that. You know, you say it's either God or it's normal. I don't, you got to figure, you got to realize that the enemy wants your mind. He wants your thoughts. He wants you to think about him. He wants you to think how he thinks. He wants you to call that normal and realistic. So you come out of line with what God says about you. If you are out of line with what God says about you, you can't access what God has for you. You can't serve God and love God and leave church or leave a Bible study and start doubting and being fearful and talking about what can't happen and this probably won't and that probably won't and I probably can't. All those are thoughts that the enemy places in your mind so he can keep you from lining up with the mind of Christ. The word of God says uh, uh, in first, Second Corinthians 10 and 3, for we walk in the flesh, yes, but we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down imaginations or arguments, and everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing into captivity, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. You've got to even make your mind obey Jesus. You can't let your mind be this cesspool this fear pool this anger pool unforgiveness and you think it's okay because it's only in your mind that means even in your mind you don't believe that god can do what he said he can do you have to make sure you regulate your mind we know he'll keep us in perfect peace if we keep our mind stayed on him the bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways so you got a god thought and you counteract it with but if it don't happen you're double-minded and you're unstable I know that's kind of harsh for somebody, but I didn't say it. The word said it in James 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. you either going to believe God or you're not. you either going to stand on his word or you're not. So what you going to do? It's not on me. What you going to do? Are you going to believe God for every situation, even the little things, even something as small as, small as I want to lose weight? But you can't control your eating. You can't be disciplined enough to work out. And I'm talking to myself first. Come on, y'all. What are we going to do? Are we going to believe God? Or are we going to believe the thoughts that the enemy keeps trying to replay in our mind? Let's bring our thoughts into subjection. Let's keep our mind stayed on Jesus. And he'll keep us in perfect peace. If we're in perfect peace, we can't stress. If we're in perfect peace, that means we're hearing and following and accessing and tapping into everything he has for us. That's my faith walk for today. I love you. And I mean it, good people.